Hi everyone, thanks for joining me and welcome to another Matchbox Monday. So what we have in front of us is the 172nd Heinkel He70 um, F-2 and I saw this in a local model shop a, a while back now and there was a vague recollection that Matchbox had um, built or a uh, produce, sorry, the um, model kit of the, the Heimcore HE70 and so I basically decided I wanted it, although I didn't have this uh, kit when I was a kid, um, I can appreciate the, the lines on this aircraft and uh, you know it looks, uh, it looks quite good. So um, I bought it and brought it home and promptly uh, open the box to to see which um, PK number this one was so we'll do that now so I was looking through the sprues of the kit and the first thing I noticed was there was no numbering there was no numbers to any of the parts and so I thought well, what's going on here matchbox and number the parts so I got out another sprue And again, there was no numbering. So I looked at all the sprues and found no reference to Matchbox whatsoever. So I was a bit um, confused because I'd, I'd even looked uh, after I bought the kit online, and uh, Matchbox had definitely released the Heinkel um, HE70. So I did a bit more digging and went to scale mates and I found that Revel have released both the Matchbox HE70 and this one which I think is ICM's HE70 so I hadn't got a Matchbox kit at all the kit that I was looking as a re-release um, from Revel is this one So I decided I was going to keep the kit anyway because I, I quite like it but I was still determined to try and get the Revel Repop of the Matchbox one and what happened was when I went on an auction site I was actually able to get this kit uh, instead of the Revel one. So there you go, an actual Matchbox boxed kit. Um, and uh, what's interesting there is that you can do several variants you can have the HE70F2, HE70G1 or the HE170A. Um, <clears throat> now what I like about uh, this one is I like the Lufthansa, um, sorry Lufthansa um, uh, markings and that's what I intend to do this kit as. So let's have a look at this um, actual matchbox kit as opposed to Revel Repop and uh, let's see what's in the box. So we'll start with the decals for a change. Um, now I haven't looked at the instruction sheet but this is going to be Spanish Civil War Condor Legion I would have thought. These are the Lufthansa decals um, and we're not quite sure about what those are. We'll have a look at that in a bit um, when I get the uh, instruction sheet. They look in um, they look in very good condition actually considering the the age of this box which is um, looking at quickly at the instructions 1992 so that's uh, 27 years so they don't look bad at all so here's the um, here's the instructions and uh, you can see the different um, nose on I, th I think that might be the 170 uh, and then this is the Condor Legion um, HE70 and there's the Lufthansa one. Yeah, the, what they do is they call out up here what it is. So the 170 is the first independent long range reconnaissance group of the Hungarian Air Force. Okay. Spanish Nationalist Air Force is the um, is the uh, Spanish Civil War one and then the Lufthansa one 
from 1935 to 1936. Looks quite um, an easy build as you would expect from, from Matchbox. Hopefully the parts will go together well. And as I say, I, I, I will be building the Lufthansa one because I think it looks uh, very smart. The parts were sent me in plastic bags, which was nice of the, uh, of the seller. Um, as you can see, it's not finished in um, what might have been a triple colour kit. Um, this is most definitely um, uh, a silver grey finish. Um, the ribbing that you can perhaps see on the fuselage there is all raised. I may try and recess those panel lines. We shall see. So that's the fuselage and that, that's the cowling for the HE170 I think. Seats, um, engine covers. And then if we get this other bag out, uh, the three sprues all together. Got the wings. Uh, this is the underside obviously because we've got the undercarriage showing propeller bosses and you've got the two different bosses there because of the two different type of um, of aircraft um, you got the um, um, console there which looks pretty good and the final one we've got um, some seats those are probably the pilot seats and the other seats that we saw, if they were seats, are for the passengers. The panel lines here are also raised, but it may not be too bad to have a go at recessing them, I don't know. It may look better. Uh, the glazing is on one sprue, looking pretty good. I can't see any scratches or anything on there, so these smaller windows I may just use um, that crystal clear um, rather than uh, fitting the plastic bits. So what's the PK number on this? Um, I don't know whether you guys spotted it. I um, was too busy looking at the parts. Um, I can't see it on that one. And I can't see it on that one. There it is. So it looks like it's uh, just there, PK132. And there we have, uh, so the original um, moulding says it's his matchbox, 1988. So that's 12, 31 years old. So there we go guys, a bit of a false start um, to begin with, but uh, thankfully I uh, managed to sort out um, getting a version of the actual Matchbox kit. I don't know what the decals are for the ICM kit, um, but I do intend building that one as well. It'll be interesting to see which one's the better build, to be honest. Um, I would possibly put my money on the Matchbox one. And the reason I say that is that there are possibly fewer parts and therefore it's not so convoluted to, to put together and my experience is the more parts I have to add the more issues I could possibly have with the build if I'm not fitting parts correctly or in line and, and things like that so we'll see. Thanks ever so much for watching guys I do appreciate it um, and I'll catch up with you soon.